Hey, Alex Miguel with Brown Bear Golf. How are you? Are you thinking about getting a new set of irons? If so, you may want to consider checking the specs on the pitching wedge. Or if you're thinking about getting a new sand wedge, lob wedge, gap wedge, attack wedge, take a look at the specs on your pitching wedge. So I have four wedges in my bag, but how do you know what to get? And look, only two of them have numbers. The other two have letters. What's this all about? All right, so the pitching wedge can mean multiple things from different manufacturers. In fact, just for a case in point, I'm gonna show you the specs for tailor-made irons of various models, the Tiger Woods models, the P770, the P790, and the Sim Max models. And you'll notice that the pitching wedge lofts are different. So, before we can look at wedges and pick what lofts they are, we have to know where our current pitching wedges are. These are the specs for pitching wedges amongst some of the tailor-made line. The Tiger Wood pitching wedge is 47 degrees, the P770, 46 degrees, the P790, 45 degrees, and the Sim Max coming in at a very strong 43.5 degrees. All of these are different, but under the pitching wedge name. Helpful hint if getting a new set of irons. Maybe consider getting the accompanying gap wedge or attack wedge. It'll match the look of your other irons and it'll gap your lofts appropriately. Or if you aren't into that, go get some new wedges, but make sure you've got the right gapping. You don't want to overlap any lofts and you don't want the loft gap to be too big because then your yardages will be off. This helpful hint from Miguel at Brown Bear Golf.